What's up guys? So it's Thursday. Tonight we have another release coming. One of my favorite at this point, I'm not gonna front, Machine Gun Kelly MGK is coming out with tickets to my downfall. Now, this shit leaked, right? Like I didn't even know this shit leaked, but it leaked a few days ago and I just found out about it last night and I've been bumping the fuck out of this shit. It is fucking phenomenal. It's his best album so far. My favorite song is called Drunk Face. Amazing, man. Like, it's fire. Like, you guys got to go listen to Drunk Face. Look that shit up. It's fire. But anyway, first week sales prediction. Let's just get right into it, man. So, MGK is kind of a complicated uh, pick, right? He's been around for a long time. This is his fifth album. Um, but he's got a lot of buzz right now. He's dating uh, Megan Fox, sexy as she is. You know what I'm saying? Four kids or not, I'll give her a fifth. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, <laughs> so it's coming out tonight, man. I predict, and this one's, this one's a, little bit, a little bit tricky because, like I said, it's his fifth album. And all of his albums have, have sold about the same in the first week. There's not a lot of variation. He does have a hit right now, My Ex's Best Friend. My Ex's Best Friend is, I think, at number 68 on the charts right now. So it's actually a hit. Like, he hasn't had a hit in a while since Rap Devil, and before that it was um, it was that one song uh, with Camellia, whatever her fucking name is. But he has a hit right now, and he's been in the news a lot for dating Megan Fox. So, he's got a lot going on. I'm going to say he's going to stay around the same amount. He's going to sell... He might reach 70,000 copies, which would be like a record for him. But I think it's going to be in the 60s again. Um, I'm going to do a review on his album too. He's got 15 tracks on the album. Um, they're all a lot, a lot of good songs. What I don't, I'm going to get into it in the review. I'll explain what I do like and what I don't like. But that Drunk Face song is phenomenal. And like I said, he's going to do, he's going to do about 60,000. If he does, if he does 70,000, Maybe 80,000, I wouldn't be shot because he's all over the place right now. He just did a Howard Stern interview. Um, he's been all over the place. But um, I still think he's got his fan base, and I don't think he's going to surpass his fan base. I do think that all his albums have gone gold, except Hotel um, Diablo or whatever his last one was called. Um, all of them have gone gold except for that one, and that one will get certified, I believe, eventually. So he's got his fan base, and he's at the point now where it's kind of hard. When you've been in the game for you know almost 10 years, it's kind of hard to uh, kind of grow your fan base more. I think he's done a phenomenal job of doing what he's done so far to be in the news like he has. But I think it's going to be tough for him to out outdo what he's already kind of previously done. So like I said, I'm going with 60,000. Maybe 70, 80 wouldn't, wouldn't blow my mind. But I don't see him going over 80,000. I don't think he's going to hit 100,000 in the first week. I just don't see it. He's got his fan base. And he's also switched up the genre. So he did a whole pop punk album. It really is pop punk. I listened to the whole album. There's no rap songs on there. But it's fire the way he did it. Because the songs kind of have like a... Like rap undertones. If that if that makes sense. Like, like if you like rap and you like pop punk. This is going to be a real treat for you. It doesn't sound like rap music. But it's got like those, it's got that rap swagger with a pop punk veneer. So check it out, man. It's going to be, it is fire. And I'm going to do a review on it too. But I'm going to say this 60 to 80,000. It's kind, I know it's kind of a bigger number than I usually say, but it's kind of tricky to predict because he's always, he's always done about 50 to 60, right? And even when he had Bloom that came out, it was, it's still, still the same even when he had a top five hit. And right now he doesn't have a top five hit, but he's been in the news everywhere with Megan Fox. So. I'm repeating myself now. I'm going to say 60 to 80K. No more than 80 and no less than 50, but I'm going to say 60 to 80,000. Thank you guys for watching so much. It's a great album. I got a review coming. Like, subscribe. I got a lot more content coming. All right, thanks, guys.